Hello everyone, it's match day versus Wolves at home. Wasn't even sure if I was going to make this game. Had a bit of a family emergency at the start of the week. Everything's improved, everything's settled down, so I was able to make this game. No time for an early drink, but time to get into the concourse, see some friends and get ready for a big game that we don't have Scott Parker as manager. Gary O'Neill takes charge of this game alongside Tommy Elphick and he'll get those players up for it. Already I've seen the starting line I'll come to that in a minute. I'll come to that in a minute because I want to thank the team for doing the match preview. The show goes on even if I had to drop out at the last minute. Well done to them. And we've got a Scott Parker sacked video that you can check out as well. And you've been doing a great job hitting those likes. The views are massive. And we're something like... 24 subscribers away from 1,200. Please don't stop. Continue as we go, as we head in to a new era in the Premier League. Get behind us on the YouTube channel, hit the like button, subscribe, and of course, I want to get your comments at the end of this video. I reckon it's going to be a loud Dean Court. Surprises were all over. Lineups are out. Travers out. Neto in. Wow. Could have, could have stopped it being 12. Straight on the bench under Gary O'Neill. Okay. Adam Smith right back. Mepham, Lloyd Kelly, John Zamora. Looks like a back four. Then it's Lewis Cook, Lerma, Billing. That looks a little bit more natural. Then it's Tavernier, Christie, and Dom Solanke back in the starting line. I do wonder if Tavernier plays like an orthodox left winger. Just um, really interested to know your thoughts on Mark Travers on the bench. Kick off in 30 minutes. Billing floating around, 
Christie off the left, Tavernier off the right, Dom Slanky up top. Wolves have had better chances, they hit the bar. Mepham was a bit sloppy in the first couple of minutes and gave away a dodgy free kick, but we dealt with that. But we are looking okay 25 minutes in. Dom Slanky up top, natural position for him, and probably not as high as I'd want him to be. He has been in the last five minutes, but the first 20 minutes he was quite deep. And we're, we're, we were sort of just letting Wolves have the ball. But we're pressing them down. We're turning the ball over. Now we just need to find some clinicality in the final third. Well, how I are you? made it. I made it. I know. It's good Just to see you. Time, Glad I that everything's good at home. Yeah, all good. All good. Uh, I did make it. And um, formation at the start of the game was more recognisable. We looked more comfortable. Wolves have had the better chances, but we're working hard, and they look like the reins have been taken off a little bit. Yeah, we've gone back to basics. I think you know, back to the the formation which you know caused us a lot of success last year. Um, We've been trying, you know, we've been really, I think we've been fine. We've been keeping the ball okay, um, defending deep, but breaking away. We've had a couple of breaks where the final balls let us down, the final shot wasn't got away. But we've, we've caused some problems and we defended well against what I still maintain is a very, very good Wolves team. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens in the second half. We haven't really created that really good chance for ourselves yet. Um, I wonder if Anthony comes into this game. Christy was looking like he was hobbling just before half time but yeah. like you say when we're getting in the final third or we look like we've got a counter attack on they're not counter attacking in pairs they no. seem to be isolated and, and yeah. we need to try and go in pairs and packs yeah I think so I mean the obvious thing is Keith Moore coming on it will cause him a massive problem himself and help Dom out but then you're going to lose the midfield so will we lose that bit defensive shape so that's the problem that's a conundrum I'm sure if you go one down that will clearly happen um, and one thing I said to you off air is you know we, we do lack some serious pace um, obviously Dom isn't slow and, and Tavernier's not slow Anthony's not slow either but neither, none of them have got what I call lightning pace like a Traore type like teams have got and it's so important in the Premier League to have real pace as a real threat over the top we haven't got that so whether we try and bring that in tomorrow I don't know but you're right it's, it's kind of safety first whilst trying to break as quickly as we can but the shape's good but one moment of magic from them you know the levels are so much higher in the Premier League and you can't you can't rest at all Let's hope we can win this game in the second half. I don't know if you've heard, Harlan scored a hat trick. Yeah. Do you know he's getting sacked in the morning? Three 0 down, Forrester. I mean, who lets Harlan get a hat trick? We didn't give him a sniff. Steve Co Cooper's getting sacked in the morning. <laughs>
away from Dean Court on this match day vlog. Good, that's good. That's progression. That was heart, that was passion. Probably can't see me, I'm just walking back to the car and it's got very dark. Unless I mean, Sean's a light on me and that might help, not completely in my face though. So we take that, I wanted the three points, I really did want the three points because it's, it's another tough away day in theory at Nottingham Forest. They, lo they lost 6-0 and they let Haaland score. Who lets Haaland score against them? Hat-trick as well. Hat-trick as well, wow. Um, but look, I wanted the three points, but we take a point and a clean sheet. That's massive. That's a building block. And that's something for a new manager to build on. But Gary O'Neill and Tommy Elphick, including Sean Cooper, did a great job tonight. The players worked, they pressed. It, we looked more organised. We looked in a formation that was more comfortable. Just a lot more heart and effort. And, and look what we achieve. But in the final third, we lacked a bit of quality. That's probably what Scott Parker was banging on about. But that will come. You know, once Tavernier gets into confidence and Christie gets into confidence and they get their heads up and pick someone out, we will score goals. I'm sure of that. And you never know, we might add something tomorrow in transfer deadline day. But it's a good point. It's a good point and something to build on and it stopped the rot. That's the important part. We hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a bit of a shorter version in regards to there wasn't a lot of different fans on, but that's because I was running late. But we will get back to having more fans on the vlogs in the future when I have more time in the pre-match experience. But please like and subscribe this video. Comment in the video below and we will have more content coming your way. We've got a match preview for Nottingham Forest tonight because this will probably be released on Thursday morning. And we'll also talk about transfer deadline day because we might be a little bit busy. Apparently we're in for Jack Stevens from Southampton. So we'll see, we'll see what business we do. But thanks for checking out this video. Positive stuff from the Cherries. We move on to Nottingham Forest on Saturday at the city ground. Come on, you cherries. Up, cherries.